Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man Gene here back again for another video for Red Devil Studio. I haven't really uploading a lot uh, as frequently recently just because I want to just explore things, but also because, quite frankly, I'm quite tired of the transfer window saga. I'm actually just looking forward for it to be, to be closed tomorrow at 5 pm. Um, but uh, stay tuned, and um, we do have uh, certainly two live streams scheduled with the uh, transfer deadline reaction video uh, scheduled for tomorrow evening and also. Um, the Premier League fans episode 3 where we're getting a lot of fans to speak about the expectation of the upcoming season Anyway, on to the news at hand um, So basically we're, going to we're here talking about Christian Eriksen So obviously the Bruno Fernandes um, and uh, even Paolo Dybala talk has essentially died down If anything it's just non it seems to be non-existent um, But according to the Independent, the Independent UK newspaper as well as other media outlets um, Manchester United is actually negotiating Christian Eriksen's representatives in order to try and secure a 50 million deal for the Tottenham Hotspur playmaker. Um, according to Independent, the London club would now prefer to sell a 27-year-old in this window in order to bring in longer-term reinforcements such as Bruno Fernandes and Paolo Dybala. Interesting, since Eriksen's contract on next year and he does not want to sign a new deal. Um, so, basically, yeah, you know, that's what... Um, Sorry, two seconds. Um, so, basically, <laughs> I do think that uh, I, I do think that um, it makes sense because Christian Eriksen obviously only has one year left in his deal. If, if he doesn't sign, uh, if he's not sold in this transfer window and he's not sold potentially in January, um, then he's basically going to leave um, Spurs on a free. And Daniel Levy is a shrewd businessman. He wants to make money from all of his players. Um, so the very fact that someone leaving for free, you know, I mean, even what's his name, and they went to Atletico de Trippier, left for 20 million, you know. So um, Daniel Levy, in that sense, is in a situation where he can't afford to be a douchebag about and be like, yeah, I want, I want 60, 70 sort of million for him. You know, get a decent amount for him now, and it's fine. So. The question is, do you think that Christian Eriksen is a good buy for, uh, for United? To be honest, at this point, yes, because he, he's Premier League proven. He's 27, so he's still is in, in, in his prime, I'd say. And also, he's another midfield player who we desperately, desperately need. He's a playmaker, which is good, um, but we desperately need another midfielder. Um, and the fact that um, we're going into this end of this transfer window without adding another midfielder is quite concerning um, as I know as I watched a few United stand videos just then they're saying like if we don't sign another midfielder I just find it's going to be very difficult for us unless Fred, Pereira, Matic and Pogba um, assuming he stays um, and Tommy sorry have a amazing fantastic season I just don't think that um, I just think it would be very difficult for us to get into the top four you know, I, I, I do. Um, what I do think is interesting about this story um, is that the fact that, you know, Tottenham would want to go for Paolo de Bala or um, Bruno Fernandes. Now, I just think that realistically, um, you know, and this is this goes with any club, is that we've now got basically just over 24 hours before the transfer window closes. Realistically, how quick can you get... If it took us weeks to get Wan Bissaka, Daniel James and um Harry Maguire ultimately, you know, to the club. Um how are we going to basically do a deal or how is any team going to be able to do a, a, a deal a, a major big deal like this within 24 just 24 plus hours. I just don't think it's possible. So even though I would the, the Eric Erickson deal, I think I have a bit more um and pay a bit more attention to it because the onus seems to be on Tottenham. So Tottenham are wanting to push the impression from the press that Tottenham are wanting to push this deal. So Tottenham wanted to push this deal to sell him to United. So if that's the case, then in that sense, it probably will be easier to do because if Tottenham obviously want to get it done out the line, and so long as United are quite are happy to pay 50 million, which is to be fair cheaper than Bruno Fernandez, um, you know, then we could potentially get the deal done. I think a lot quicker because to the, it's coming from Tottenham, then if we were going to Tottenham, being like, right, let's negotiate. you know. So from that point of view, I, I, I do think that it's, 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 it's possible. Um, but yeah, guys, um, 
what do, what do you think? Do you think Christian Eriksen would be a, a good addition to Manchester United? Do you not even care at this point, considering the fact that um, the Bruno Fernandes, the Pau de Bar, and all these other ones have sort of died a, a very quick death? Um, like I said, come uh, August the 8th, tomorrow at 5 o'clock, um, we'll be doing our um, transfer, de- transfer window reaction at about 9 o'clock. Um, and guys... Um, it's looking like it's even though we we have signed players, it's just looking like I just don't think we're going to be in for certainly for Fernandez. The ball is definitely off. Milinkovic Savic seems to be just a nothing story. We don't know what's where Pogba Lukaku are going to end up. Um, and um, who knows about Christian Eriksen? It's really going to be a mad dash, I think, for the um, well. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening in the next 24 hours. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Um, like I said, this is a really short video because really there's not really much else to talk about other than that. Manchester United are in negotiations with Tottenham Hotspur to sign Christian Eriksen um, as another midfielder because they essentially have been put off like the likes of Dybal and supposedly have not been interested in Bruno Fernandes. So, yeah, please like, share and subscribe to the to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, we United X. Um, Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.